G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to take two <laughs> of my ring pour. Right, now, hopefully you've saw the previous one where I did the, the ring pour in a pretty thick colours. I'm not going to get it out because it's just over there. I've only just done it like an hour ago and it's still wet so I don't want to pick it up. Um, but check back on that video and you'll see where I kind of went wrong. I've taken out the two dark reds because one of them was like a purpley red and I think that was what kind of made my mix go a bit icky baby poo brown colour. <laughs> so I've taken that out. I've taken the other red out. So now I've got yellow, orange, red, blue, light green and dark green. They are all the Montmartre paints. That's the yellow. It's the medium yellow. There's also a lemon yellow, but it's kind of a more of a, a cool yellow and I wanted a warm yellow. So that's the medium yellow. That's the orange. That one is the um, brilliant red. That one. That one is the deep cyan blue. It doesn't come in the big bottle, so just finish that one. That one's the light green and that one's the phthalo green. Now, Ring pour mix is 70% glue, Selma's glue all 30% water. And I've I started mixing it equal amounts, and then I thought, no, I really want it thicker than the last one. So I did, and I've taken out the two colours, so I've got extra in. So I've got 40 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of paint. Okay, so they're nice and thick. Nice and thick and lovely. So hopefully that will do better. And I made an extra cup of white. I've got two cups of white. Now I only want to do two layers because that's what I I wanted to do two layers in the last one and I ended up doing three. So I'm gonna go back to two and I want to I want yellow in the center. I want a lighter center. So the color that goes in first is your color that's gonna come out last and that's gonna be your center. Okay, so if you want a yellow center, put yellow in first. If you want a blue center, put blue in first, etc. etc. So I'm gonna put Half of that in, I'm going to put some white, I'm going to make my white thicker as well, like more white, that's why I've got two cups. So we'll see how we go, alright, here we go. Half of the yellow in, and then a good amount of white. Actually I'll put you there, and then half of the orange. The orange I could not thicken up, it just did not want to thicken. We don't need quite a, I think I put too much white in the big, in the first one there. Um, yeah, the orange did not want to thicken. So, it's got a much higher ratio of paint than the others. So that's okay. Okay, so we're getting a much, much more thicker sort of, Colors. What am I doing? Okay, I'm going to make sure I stay in my right order here. Half of the green. And you can see they're staying in their nice rings. You can see there. The yellow one's disappeared already because it's... Yeah, the colors have poured over the top of it. Actually, that feels a bit thick. I try to make them all, you know, really thick so that I get beautiful rings. And, I, and you can see my white. The white I actually had to add more white to. Um, yeah, the, the white, I've always had problems with white. It always seems to be a bit on the thin side. I'm just going to scrape out what I've got left in here into the bigger cup. So yeah, even when I do my flip cup pours, I always have to add more white paint. It just doesn't seem to show up as much as the other colours do some room okay so now we're starting again I'm going to use everything up uh, again I seem to have much more <laughs> on the second time around uh, it's deceptive you pour it and you think yep yeah, I think that's half nope <laughs> all right let me get some white Orange. I ended up having more orange because I had to add more paint to it because it just would not thicken up. Just wouldn't. Some colours are just really runny and then others are just thick. 
doesn't matter if I've got a little bit more paint on this second layer because it's the it's going to be pushed to the outside because you're going to pour that out it's all going to go out to the outside anyway it's going to use it to cover the canvas oh gosh look at this I'm filling this up much more than I did last time <laughs> even though I've got two cups of color missing I seems to have more paint than last time oh I did make an extra cup of white didn't I yeah that's right okay and then the light green I'm just gonna have to squish it all in here I should go for a bigger canvas shouldn't I I have way too much paint maybe I should stop and change canvases I still want all these colors how am I going to get my dark green in there now? Oh my gosh! Dark green! Come on! Oh, look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh! I don't want to waste my paint. It's, it's all going in there. It is. Whether it kills me, it's going in there. All right. Um, and I've, Oh my gosh. It's all right. Saved it. Hands are slippery. Um... Okay, I think I'm going to just put you on pause. I'm going to grab a bigger canvas um, because that's way too much for that size. That's a 16 inch or 40 centimetre. So I'll be, I'll go and have a look, see what I've got. So I've got this one. It's, a, it's slightly longer. It's the same width, 16 inch, but it's an extra 10 centimetres wide. So this is a 40 by 50 centimetre or 16 by 20 inch. That was the next size up I've got. I don't have any, I don't have any 20 by 20s. I've got like a 20 by 24 and I thought, well, that's going to be too big. So here we go. Oh gosh, this is, this is terrifying. Now you see how full it is. It's going to be really, really difficult to get that paint out. Um, I wish I had like a, a spouty thing, but anyway, here we go. I'll do the best I can. Do the best I can with what I've got. So it'll start pouring not too well, but hopefully as I get closer and I can tip it better, hopefully it will pour a little bit better. Trying to do rings, but it's coming out in more of like a fold. Just because of the way the the spout is shaped. Now it's the center that's going to be important. What comes out first, you know, that messy stuff, it's just going to all go over the sides. You're not going to see it. It's this center that's important that you're going to see. So that's where you need to really be careful, take your time, do your little circles. You can do a little bit of a jiggle if you want, or if you don't want to do rings. I think I'll stick to the rings. Now I want quite a lot of that yellow and white to come out. So I'm going to keep going until I can get that out because I want a light centre. I want the pale yellow and white centre. few more. It's looking much brighter this time round, isn't it? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the other video where I did the ring pour. It's probably just one or two videos back. And make sure you catch your drip. Hand starting to shake. Oh, look at that. Isn't it pretty? All right. Uh, that's looking good. And hopefully I won't have as much pink this time because I took that other red out. Still got some white left. Um, I might thin that down and put it on the edges actually just to give the paint something to flow on 
otherwise it kind of runs over itself rather than glides across the top. So it doesn't matter what colour you use, like if you've got some left over of any colour, just um, yeah, thin it out and use that as your flow extender. So they're nice and thin now, it's not really leaving a mound. And we'll just go around there. And I'm going to spread that out. Just bear with me while I spread it out. Because if you've done a ring pour before, you know that when you tilt, the colours run over themselves. So hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. And doing this, making the canvas wet, those colours, I mean, they still will run, run over themselves a little bit, but hopefully not quite as much with the canvas being already wet and slippery for the paint to just slide across. You just got to make sure that this paint, your flow extender as I call it, um, is nice and thin. Otherwise your, your, your rings there will have trouble getting over them. I'm not even sure how much paint I've used. Full, full cup. The cup goes up to about 600 mil, so it must be 700, I guess. I could work it out. What did I do? I did um, 40 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of paint. That's 100 in each. And how many colours did I have? How many colours did I have? Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, two cups of white, that's eight, eight by a hundred, that's eight hundred. See, uh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? All right. Now, this side looks brighter than this side, so I'm going to tilt off this side first. Oh, it's heavy. Let go. It's heavy. Yeah, so 800 grams of paint by the looks of it. All right, here we go. I'm going to go around in a bit of a circle first just to kind of stretch the paint out. Let's see what the colours are going to do. So I want a bit of movement in it. I don't necessarily want just rings. I just want to fix up my centre. thick there you can just if you want to if you're not quite happy with your center you can just do a little swirl like that but do it early before it all spreads out okay where I'm up to swirling this way plenty of paint over the edge back to the middle. Be careful where I'm holding it over the edge, trying to keep as much colour as I can. Oh, it's looking really pretty. And my hands are dripping wet with paint, so you've got to be really careful you don't drip into the centre. So take your hands around the side. Wow, it's much more bright. Bright and beautiful than the last one was. Hey, where are we going? Let's go this way. the edge back you can see that the orange I can't point but you can see how the orange down there near the bottom see how it hasn't kept its rings so much it's still a little bit on the thin side just kind of blurred okay here we go over back I'll take a little bit of that orange off the bottom there move the paint to where I want it to go Take a bit of the orange off, just a bit. Oh my gosh, look at those cells. Why? Why do you have to have cells? I don't want cells. You get cells automatically. There's no Floetrol in this. There's no silicone oil, but you just get cells. 
It's from the densities of the paints, different densities. All right, let me stand back and look at that. I could try potentially and take that cell out, but I think it's just going to, if I had to take that cell out, I would take that much paint off and I'd probably lose that blue and I don't want to lose that blue. So the cell's just going to have to stay. Now I'm not going to torch it because if I torch it, all those little bubbles, there's lots of bubbles in there because I've just mixed up the paint, they would all pop and they would kind of all look like cells. So I don't want them to, to sell up, so I'm not going to torch. But there we go. What do you think? It's much brighter than the previous one, isn't it? Well, oh, it's still not exactly what I wanted. I wanted it really bright like this here. Probably too much white. That's okay. Still learning, still learning. I learn every day. I can see the white in this now. The one that I did earlier today, I couldn't see the white at all. But it has made my colours a little bit pale. But these corners here, look at this. This is psychedelic, baby. Look at that. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Look at my hands. Take my gloves off. Bring you down for a close-up. Actually, before I take my gloves off, I'm going to just... Clean up the bottom there really carefully. And I'm going to put a few of those little stripies back onto the corner. Oh, these colours are just incredible. They are just beautiful. So I guess my only thing that I could say I could improve on, I can't use that, that's mud, um, is maybe I've got a little bit too much um, white this time. You shouldn't stick your fingers in there and then do the edges. <laughs> yeah, there's my blue. That's a bit of blue that I wanted, just there. Okay. Where are we going? How are we going on this colour here? Orange. You need a bit of orange just there. I've got a little bit of mud just on the side there where I... I must have been holding it there on the side. Right. Now, let's get you down for a close-up, hey? Oh my gosh, that was hard work. Um, I would like to pick the other one up and bring it over and show you the other one, but I don't think I'll... I better not. I better not because it will probably drip into this one. So this one's much more bright. That's just my dogs carrying on. They can obviously hear me. I'm coming, babies. All right, here we go. Now this is how I wanted it, nice and bright here, like that. Whereas over there on that side, it's a little bit, it's still really pretty, but it's got a little bit more white in it, I think. Look at those fingerlings, look at that. You can see how beautiful and thick the paint was and it's keeping its shape. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's beautiful. Look at those fingerlings. So pretty. The colours here are just divine. We go up, have a look at all of those. See, the colours have all stayed in their, their rings. There's the corner. shadow of my tripod I actually quite like the way when the paint goes over the corner and then comes back it leaves those really pretty circular effects but if you don't want this kind of effect in a ring pour where you get uh, more movement and you know you get a bit of a, a wave effect if you don't want that if you just want circles in circles in circles in circles then you need to put it on a, a spinner and spin it that way it spins everything nice and evenly uh, but yeah like I said I wanted a little bit more movement in this one and I think I got it I think it's really really pretty so hopefully you guys like it as well if I do it again I might just take out a little bit of white I don't know the first one had not enough white the second one had too much white 
I'll probably do it again and then I go, nah, not not enough white. <laughs> but it's really pretty. The colours aren't as vibrant through here as they are in real life. There's a, a window just to my left and the the sun's coming in and it's kind of making it look a little bit more pale than it than it really is, but you see it's darker on this side because it's away from the window and then that side it's a bit lighter because it's closer to the window. Actually, I just looked at something else. Look at that. There's blue and pink. It kind of looks a bit like a, a sunset colours down there. Naughty cells. You need to go over to a flip cut video. Not in my ring pour video. Alright, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. It's nearly one o'clock and I haven't had anything to eat yet. I do this, I get up and I paint and I paint and I paint and it gets to like one o'clock and I think, oh, I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> uh, it's good for the dieting though. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching you guys. Love you all. See you real soon for the next video. Let me know if you want me to do any more of these. Okay, bye for now.